I got a question about how to set up the Shure MV7 microphone over USB or XLR. So I wanted to quickly answer that. It has both a USB port and an XLR port on the back of the microphone. If you want to set this microphone up over USB, it's pretty simple. I hate unboxing videos. So you can plug one end of this into the microphone like that. And then the other end into your laptop like that. If you have the Shure MV7 app installed, you can then use that to control the microphone. Of course, you'll wanna put the microphone on a good stand. I have a small tripod that I can use. You want it to be sturdy. I like these Triad Orbit and quick mounts. I think they're the best quick mounts on the market because they use a cam lock system, which means that even if it's not all the way in, there's no way that you can pull that out because it has little cams inside there. So when you pull on it, it actually gets tighter. Huh. So hook one of these cables into the microphone, hook the other one into the laptop, and then install the Shure MV7 app to control the microphone. The next thing you want to do if you're using headphones is plug the headphones into the back of the microphone. Then it has a mix control on top of the microphone that you can use to control the loudness of the microphone relative to the headphones. Cool. Another way that you can set up this microphone is using an audio interface. If you're going to do this, you can use XLR. And one advantage of doing this is that you have a lot more gain control over the microphone. I think this really was designed as a USB microphone. If you want to set this up as an XLR microphone, plug your XLR cable into the back. Take the other end of your XLR cable. Plug it into the audio interface. And you can take the audio interface and plug the audio interface into your laptop. Then you want to go into your laptop's audio preferences, settings, control panel, and, and choose this audio interface as the input and output source. Once you've done that, you can plug your headphones into the audio interface. I want to use an adapter, plug my headphones into the audio interface. From here, I can adjust the gain of the microphone. So I now have the gain turned all the way up on the audio interface. Okay, perhaps it would have been prudent for me to do the entire video with this microphone, but I didn't. So um, this is what the microphone sounds like going through the Volt audio interface. Uh, and I'm probably about mm, three inches off. I do have the gain cranked up all the way on this audio interface. This is two inches off of the microphone, six inches off of the microphone, 10 inches off of the microphone, one foot off of the microphone. It makes a huge difference how close that you are with this microphone. You wanna get this thing close to your face? Let me quickly switch to USB. The app is called Sure Plus Motive. With the app, we can control all of the settings of this microphone. There's an auto level setting that I'm using now. I have it set on near. This slider will adjust how much that you hear it. The headphones of the computer's playback versus the microphone. There's a near setting and a far setting. This is increasing the microphone's sensitivity. If we're on the near setting, it'll pick up a lot less of the room noise. The microphone gain is turned all the way up. The levels definitely seem lower than when I was using it with the Volt. Let's see what happens when I turn on the compressor. Let's just crank it up all the way to heavy. There you go. Now you can hear that it's bringing up all of the detail and quiet sounds in my voice. Here's medium compression. That might be a little bit less dramatic. You won't pick up quite as many breath sounds and room noise also. If you do engage the compressor, it will pick up some of the room sounds as well. And this is light compression. Again, here's the compressor off. And this is what it sounds like with the compressor off. This is what it sounds like with the compressor on the light setting. This is what it sounds like with the compressor on the medium setting. This is what it sounds like with the compressor on the heavier setting. I think it's pretty cool that this microphone does have a built-in compressor. It seems like it definitely gets pretty aggressive. And this is what it sounds like with heavy compression, six inches off of the microphone. This is what it sounds like with medium compression, six inches off of the microphone. This is what it sounds like with light compression, six inches off of the microphone. And this is what it sounds like with the compressor off. So that's a little bit on how to set up the Shure MV7. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post new content. I'm Simon Peck, and I look forward to seeing you soon.